All right, guys, in this section, what we're going to do is we're going to create a transactional email for Purple, the company, right? So, of course, we do not own uh, the logo of Purple. We did not create it. We're not part of this company, but we're going to use this company to create a transactional email, and we're going to do it through Sketch, okay? So, I hope you guys like this video. Definitely let me know, okay? And this is part of the HTML email developer career bundle and let's get started okay so we're gonna open up a new file in sketch and then from here we're gonna come right here so make sure I set this up so you guys can see everything all the windows okay great so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on artboard and I'm going to choose a desktop version right for this email and then in here I'm gonna come in and I'm going to create a rectangle which is gonna be uh, 600 pixels and that's usually the size of HTML emails so that's why we're actually doing it like this okay okay here we go now I'm gonna do command a okay to select this and then I'm gonna click here to make sure we center this okay and there we go so as you can see we're centered horizontally centered vertically okay now the next thing that we're going to do we're going to look at the colors that uh, good old purple is using so it's like a purple color okay and of course they got some mattress a couple of things that they're doing all right cool so let me go back to sketch so on the top section I'm gonna create a header and I'm going to come here click on rectangle okay make this header like this okay click on color I'm gonna go to a purple color something like that that looks good okay then in here I'm just gonna put in a text pressing T and then in here I'm gonna say purple okay now click outside then click on um, purple and then from here we're gonna put this as a bold letter okay now let me look at what we have here okay I guess they do it all lowercase of course if you have the logo of purple it's fine okay but for us we're just gonna put it as a text okay so we're gonna click on this and then we're gonna click on that rectangle which is the purple background and we're gonna center this and center horizontally and vertically so it's right in the middle okay perfect now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sub menu so right here I'm gonna create another rectangle okay and let's say around here 70 pixels okay perfect then now I'm gonna come here and I'm going to make this to be like a little off-white not white white but a little bit off-white okay so let's say F A F B F 8 let's do F 8 okay we're also going to remove the borders from this. We're going to remove the border from this. Okay. We're also going to remove the border from this other one that's back here. So remove this. And then we're going to uh, create a background. So I'm going to click a rectangle. Okay. I usually like to do this like this. Um, put this as a background so I could have control of it here put this as background and then now we're gonna make this to be a grayish color like white but a little bit grayish okay perfect okay now for this one which is our email background 
okay we're going to change this to be a little bit lighter okay and of course this is where having a a really good <laughs> monitor really helps out because you can really see those colors now some of you guys might say well, joe this looks the same and it's because you have a bad monitor okay <laughs> i can see the difference of this color to this color to this color to this color okay sometimes it's good to pay a premium so you could get you know everything okay so now that we have this what we're going to do is we're going to create another rectangle okay and we're going to do this like this okay there we go and we're going to make this white oops hold on click here uh, let me see where is it sometimes rectangles get lost okay that's the one we're gonna make this nice and white and we're gonna move this up okay now the next thing that we're going to do we're going to put in up here in the sub menu we're gonna rename this to sub menu background and in here we're gonna put in a couple of different links we're gonna say uh, what can we put here shop more or hold on before we do this let's look at the things that they have they have mattresses pillows bedding base okay so let's say those four things mattresses pillows bedding and bases okay mattresses okay okay click here change the color of this okay i'm gonna put this right here for now we're gonna duplicate this and before we do that do command z before we duplicate this let's put this as a new style create a new style and call this uh sub link okay and then now we duplicate this okay so do command d to duplicate it and then now we're able to get this here like that uh what was this uh mattresses pillows bedding mattresses pillows okay command d to duplicate this one more time bedding and the other one was basis duplicate it command d and there we go i'm gonna say bedding okay oops all right, so now I'm gonna put this here, okay? And I'm going to select each one of these. And then I'm gonna come here and make sure we spread this out, okay? There you go. And then now it's actually, you know, set up how we want it. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to change the styles. We're going to click here and we're going to be changing the styles. We're going to make this font a little bit smaller. Okay. And then we're going to click here to update text style. So then that's going to update all of them. Then once again, we're going to move this to the right. Click on every single one by clicking on it and holding shift okay and then we're gonna come here and distribute unevenly okay there we go all right cool so the next thing that we're gonna do is to make sure we have a layout right this is something that i should have did before but it's okay right 
it doesn't matter because right now we basically got the basic design so let's click on layout settings okay so we could bring out a little something so okay let me see we got 60 960 pixels and let's say we want to minus 20 uh, let's put this at 600 pixels okay minus 40 so we're gonna say uh, 20 pixels on the left 20 pixels on the right so then that's 560 okay then we're gonna do an offset of 40 click here center click right here for the columns and then click on centered okay mm, doesn't look that good so let's put it at 20 okay and then click here on center give this a second sometimes this be acting up okay click out here and click center okay that's fine that's good enough that's 20 pixels from each side okay got a width we're going to make this to be let's say 20 pixels okay and let me see does that look good let's put this down to 10 pixels yeah I think that's better okay 10 pixels and let me see click here all right so then now as you can see we have this 12 column layout so now what I want to do is I want to put this right here let's move this in let's move this in once again click on here click on here click on here then distribute unevenly okay there we go and let's see so now we have our layout so we're good so we can have everything in order and could be nice nice spacing okay so because I'm doing like 40 pixels here let me make sure I come here bring this down let me see that's 740 okay so then now let's bring this down to 720 okay we can even see how that looks looking it's actually not looking that bad okay now the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create a footer right and I'm just laying things down of course at the end we're gonna definitely tweak it but for now we're gonna come here and put this to be like a darker light gray and then let's move this up okay there we go so we have our basic design for this HTML email now currently we got to start grouping things up okay so I'm gonna click here click here click here click here and I'm gonna say command G make this into a group and call this links okay and then I'm gonna click on the links and then I'm gonna click on the sub menu background and I'm gonna center this vertically okay so there you go now center vertically right in the middle then we're gonna click here and click on the links and then group that and call it sub menu okay now that we have this we're gonna move this footer okay and we're gonna move the footer to be 20 pixels okay and there we go now what I want to do once we have uh, pretty much grouped this sub menu I want to come here click on this background click on this text and we're gonna group this together 
call this header. Okay. Then let me see. Come down here. Put this at the bottom. Let me see. Email background. Put it above the email background. And call this. Put it in a group. Command G. And put this as a footer. Okay. Let me see which is this. Okay. This is the content area. So in here, we're going to group this. And we're going to call this content area. Okay. And then this, we're going to call this backgrounds. Or background. Okay. Now that we got this done, we pretty much got the basic layout already built. Now we're going to take a pause here.